Fantastic! You've been given your login details for Times Tables Rockstars. The class has been set up and your students are keen. But what should you do first? Here are the first five things you should do when you start Times Tables Rockstars. One, earn your rock stripes. It's worth investing a bit of time to learn how TT Rockstars works. You should watch our introduction video and our game types video. Both are linked in the description. These will give you a good grounding in how TT Rockstars works. Next, have a play. Try out the different games and see if you can find a favourite. Playing the games yourself will really help you envision how your students will use TT Rockstars and you can build your avatar, which will be essential if you want to dress up as them at a Rock Day dress up event. Two, set a baseline. What do your students already know? Where are the gaps? Find out by setting a baseline. That way, you will know what work needs to be done to get them truly fluent with their times tables. It's also great to have a benchmark set early in the year so you can easily celebrate their achievements as the year progresses. You can set a benchmark in two ways. You could use the baseline page in each worksheet booklet. You can find our downloadable times tables worksheets here. Just pick a table and print. Or you can get your class to complete an online assessment called a gig. It's 100 questions over five minutes. You can see the results of the gig by heading to stats, select your class, gig. If you want to know more about setting a baseline on TT Rockstars, you can watch our dedicated baseline video, which is linked in the description. Three, ditch the admin. It's tempting to track each student's progress and set them specific tables to practice, but this could have you running in circles and you may inadvertently hold back students by not releasing new tables when they're ready. Instead, put your feet up and let our intelligent algorithm automatically adjust the facts given to each student. It can adjust them far quicker than you can, so let the machine work its magic and tick another job off your list. Four, communicate with parents. Getting your students to play TT Rockstars at home has a double benefit. You set aside less time in school for the students to play and you can harness parent power. Inform parents that little and often is the key. Students who practice TT Rockstars for 21 minutes over a week tend to have the best recall. That's just three minutes a day. But for parents to be able to help effectively, they need to know how TT Rockstars works and how it is best used. So send them our parent guide, which you can find under downloads, parent carer resources. You should also send them a link to our introductory video, which you can also find under parent carer resources. Five, hand out certificates. Once your students have been playing for a bit, it's a really good idea to hand out some certificates. These are great to inspire and motivate your students to continue working hard on their tables. There are lots of certificates you can print from Time Tables Rockstars, but a good place to start is Rock Status Certificates. Each student earns a Rock Status by playing 10 studio games. The faster their average recall time, the higher their status. They start at Wannabe and go all the way up to Rock Hero. Printing these certificates early on is great because it lets your students track their progress through the year. It's also a good idea to print these out at regular intervals throughout the year. That way, changes in status are rewarded regularly. So that's our list of the five must-dos for new teachers on Times Tables Rockstars. But there's so much more you can do with TTRS, so get started and soon you'll be rocking and rolling Times Tables like a pro.